Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well, we've got a simple little hover effect for you today. If you look at the images at the top there, when we hover over, they're just going to grow and come towards you like that. And of course, we still got the light effect, light box effect going on. If you click on them, they're going to pop out like that really simple to do we're not using any coding or any extra plugins to do this today we're just doing it with the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself and it's really easy so let's get started first thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder once enabled I'm going to go down I'm simply going to delete this row and we'll start from scratch so let's add a new row I'm going to put three columns in there and I'm simply going to put an image module. Divi comes as standard with all these light gray modules, plenty enough to build just about any site. When you add WooCommerce, it'll give you another dozen modules to display your products also. I'm simply going to use an image module for this today, but this will work on any module, so you don't have to use an image. I'm just using this one for demonstration. So there's my image module. Let's choose an image to pop in there. There it is right there. Okay, let's make the little bit of magic happen. Now to do this today, I'm going to go over to the design tab. We're going to go down to transform. And we're going to use the first little block on the left hand side, transform scale, which makes things bigger or smaller. Now for this effect today, I only want it to happen when we're hovering over it. Now common to most Divi modules, if you see some dark writing there where it says transform, you hover over it, you'll see some icons appear. If there's a little arrow there like there is now, we can click on that and bring up a desktop state, which is when your mouse is not on an object, and a hover state, which obviously is when your mouse is hovering over the object. So when our mouse hovers over this object, I want to make it grow by about 25%. So if we look at our little box just down below here, it's got a slider for the vertical side and a slider for the horizontal size. Now you've got a little check mark there. If that's checked, it's going to do them both at once. So I can simply type in my new value right here, 125%, 125%, make it grow by that much. And it's only going to grow by that much, remember, when we're on hover. When we switch back to desktop, it should go back to 100%. So when we put our mouse on it, it's going to go like that. Now the other adjustment we might want to make is when the time it takes to get from desktop to hover by default 300 milliseconds or just under a third of a second with Divi. If we go over to the advanced tab, go down to transitions, we can set our own timing. There's the default 300. I'm going to bring mine up to just about half a second or a little bit over perhaps. Don't want any delay, want it to happen as soon as their mouse hits it. Transition speed curve, one I like to use for this is ease in and ease out. Now they're all slightly different. Some will work better than others in certain situations. So check them out and choose what's best for you. But in this situation for my hover effects, I tend to use that ease in and ease out. Okay, and the other thing that we want to do is we want to be able to click on it and have it pop out into a light box. So let's go back to our content, go down to link. And you can either have it linked somewhere by putting an, a link in there, or you can flip the little switch up there and have it open in a light box. Now, anybody that doesn't know, a light box is when you click on something, it'll pop out and it'll darken the background and you'll have a larger version to look at. So we should be pretty much good to go with this. Let's just save the changes. Now I'm simply going to duplicate this a couple of times because we've got the styling on it or we could extend the styles by right clicking on the module and just put new modules in there and extend the styles to them that way. I'm simply going to clone, hit the two little boxes there, pull one over. Same again. And obviously just do this however many times you need to and you could go in Simply just change out the image. And same for the third one. Swap out the image, put in there whatever it is you want. OK, 
Okay, well let's save our changes. Make sure this is going to work on the front end. Little purple button down the bottom. Click on that. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. And there we go. There's our little images down there when I hover over. It's taking just over half a second to scale up to the size that we wanted. Same with our other two right here. And when you click on them, they're going to pop out into a light box like that. Nice little effect, especially you have on a desktop. I'd probably disable this on a tablet or mobile because they wouldn't know to click on it to hover. But the great thing about Divi, you can enable and disable sections visibility wise on different devices. I'll quickly show you how to do that for anybody that doesn't know how. Let's enable our visual builder again. And you can go in there. Let's have a look at this row. We'll go into the row, the green tab of the row. We'll go over to advanced and visibility. And we've got disable on phone tablet. So we can have this on desktop, leave that unchecked and disable it on phone tablet. Clone the row, take the effect off. And you've got two different versions, one for your, well, let's just go ahead and do it for you. Let's clone the whole row here. And what we'll do, we'll just go in to the design and the transform there. And on our hover state, we'll simply take that back to 100%. So there'll be no hover effect there at all. Save the changes now. We want to, this particular row, we want this to be visible. So we go over to advanced visibility. We want this to be visible on tablet and phone. So we'll say disable on desktop and enable on phone and tablet. And this one on top should be the opposite way around. And now we've done that because we're looking at desktop view. It's kind of grayed out a little bit to know it's not visible on desktop. We'll make sure that this one is with our visibility settings. So we want to disable this one on phone and tablet. Save our changes now. Save our changes. And exit the visual builder. As you can see, there's only one row because we're looking on desktop now. I'm using Google Chrome with the great inspector tool. So if I hit F12, I can put my little responsive device toggle on right here and we can have a look on iPhone or phone. And there it is. And there's no hover effect there. You still get your light box effect. And tablet. And again, we've got no horror effect. We've just got the light box on the tablet there. And then go back to desktop. Roll on up. And we've got our hover effect back. So there you go, guys. That is how to create a nice little image hover effect with no coding. Like I say, this will work on any module you like. It doesn't have to be an image. I just used the image for that particular example today. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.